Hello everyone, this is Miss Julia here at the Colorful Birch Library bringing you another virtual crafternoon. Today we are going to be doing a 4th of July craft, so we're going to do sort of this cool looking firework display. Alternatively, you can also do a red, white, and blue sort of marble effect. I'll show you how to do both. Uh, but for this craft, you will need a tray of some sort. This can be a cookie sheet or like a roasting pan or whatever else you have around the house. Uh, you'll need some shaving cream, lovely shaving cream, some paper, preferably white. That way you can, your, your art will actually show up better on the white. I would suggest either construction paper or cardstock. Printer paper will, probably won't work as well. It would get too um, wet with the shaving cream. You also need something like cardboard or an old credit card, something stiff that you'll be able to scrape off with. Uh, you'll need either paint or food coloring. I'm gonna use food coloring for my example today and I have some red and blue. Uh, then you'll need a toothpick or like a paintbrush or something else that you'll be able to spread the color around with. Uh, so to start with, you'll take your tray and you'll take your shaving cream and you're gonna spray a whole bunch in your tray. So you wanna make sure it's about as large as the piece of paper you're gonna be using. Something like this maybe for me. Kind of compare to make sure. Maybe a bit wider. Uh, and from this, you need to sort of make this smooth, as smooth as possible. So you can use your cardboard if you would like. Otherwise, your hand works just as well just to smooth that out. So it's a nice even surface for you to work on. I will skip ahead when I have it nice and even. All right, when you have your board, or your shaving cream rather, nice and even, you can go ahead and wash off your hand. Uh, just for time's sake, I'm just gonna leave mine and scrape it off. Uh, from here, you're going to put on some paint or whatever this is, food coloring and you'll do some drops wherever you want your fireworks to sort of be. So I'm gonna start off with red. You only really need one drop per firework. It spreads out rather nicely. Do that around the board. Or the shaving cream, keep calling it board. And from here, you're gonna take your paintbrush or your toothpick or whatever you like and kind of start making the sort of burst effect. So you kind of start at the center of your circle of paint or coloring and kind of just extend outwards. And you'll do that for all of your paint splotches. So I'm just gonna fast forward to the end result. I should also mention that you don't need to like dig deep into the, the shaving cream and pull. You just need to sort of lightly brush the top because uh, that's where all your paint is. It's at the top, not the bottom. And if ever you need to like sort of scrape off your toothpick, that works too. Otherwise you might get kind of more of that sort of white in the middle rather than the red. Um, but both look great. There we go. When you have the effect that you want, you take off the shaving cream off your hands again. Uh, but then you're going to take your paper and you're going to lightly place it on top and kind of lightly press it. Uh, you should eventually see the ink sort of start bleeding through. I'm not sure if it's going to capture on the camera, but you can kind of see like the ink there bleeding through. You'll let it sit for a little bit until the rest of the ink bleeds through, and I'm just kind of lightly pressing over areas that I know that there's ink. So it kind of soaks into the paper. Yeah, you might leave that for like a 
minute or two, depending on how um, bright you want your fireworks to be, or like how dark they are. But when it's put through to your liking, you're going to gently lift up your paper. Mmm, shaving cream. I'm going to put this aside for right now. And then you're going to lay it down. So you may want to have a covered surface, actually. And you're going to take your cardboard or your credit card and you're going to scrape off the excess shaving cream. Like so. I'm just scraping it on my tray over there. result will be that sort of firework burst. You can see there's some areas I probably should have let it soak a bit longer like in here, but that's okay. It still looks really cool. And then to get the sort of marbled effect, it's not too different from your fireworks. I'm going to add some more paint. I should probably actually make this smooth again. There's a nice smooth surface. I'm going to use my cardboard this time because I don't want my hands getting dyed with paint. I'm just going to put some more drops. It's okay if you sort of combine the colors so that if you get some red on your blue, that's fine. And when you have all your dots that you want, you'll take your toothpick or your paintbrush and you just start swir swirling it around. So I might do it like from a diagonal, and I might do it up and down. Do it side to side, and you'll keep on doing that until you get the sort of swirl that you like. Let's see, let me do this way. But you don't want to mix it around too much, otherwise, you're going to lose the sort of red and the blue, and it'll just become this sort of light purple mess. But like before, when you get it to the point that you like, you'll take your sheet of paper and you'll press it lightly on top of the shaving cream and let the ink soak through until it soaks through to the point that you like and you'll gently take it off, put your tray aside and you scrape it off again. Maybe I'll do it towards you this time so you can actually kind of see it's getting scraped off. There it is. I'll admit this kind of looks like the, what is it, the Aquafresh, Aquafresh toothpaste. So I think they use sort of red, white, and blue in their um, toothpaste, but there you go. So you have that marbled effect for the 4th of July colors. And this can be a great start for like a 4th of July card if you want to make one, or maybe like a 4th of July uh, decoration. So this is a good base for other crafts that you can do. So there you have both the fireworks and the marble effect of red, white, and blue for 4th of July. I hope you all enjoyed making this craft um, and have a wonderful 4th of July celebration. Other than that, I hope you all stay safe, stay healthy, and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye!